Now Lee was an, an amazing um, daughter. Um, she had this smile, an amazing smile, that would uh, capture the room. Um, she was gentle, she was kind, she was loving. I always used to call her my angel. On the Sunday morning, um, I had a call, and it was a call from my, my brother-in-law, um, saying that um, Chanel had passed away. And it was just, um, it was just so sudden. I remember just thinking, it, this just can't be, can't, it can't be real. I always said Chanel was my world, you know, so it really, it really was as if my world had gone. I remember our, our last holiday that we had in Tenerife, seeing my, my baby, who she was, growing up to be a young lady. Finding out, you know, that she had an art condition was, you know, really devastating. Really don't associate, you don't having that perception that dying of a heart condition is being unhealthy, then to realise that it's not necessarily the case where you can be healthy or she was healthy and still had a heart condition really sort of brought it home to me. I think the first thing I would say to her is how much I love her, you know, and how much I miss her and how much I wish she was here, fulfilling her dreams. <sighs> Sorry. At the end of every conversation, at the end of every time we would leave each other, we would always um, leave with a hug. I'd always hug her, I'd always uh, kiss her on the top of her head. She'd always hug me back and she'd always say, I love you. I'm so grateful that that's the relationship that we had and that on that particular day, you know, I had the chance to, to do that, to, um, to tell her that I loved her.